and you say, I'm so tired. I've tried everything and I still have this weight. I'm not blessed. I'm not free. I'm still struggling. And you see how this weight is pulling her down. The enemy wants to clothe you in depression. He wants to whisper things in your ear and tell you you're no good. Nobody's ever going to love you. You're never going to get it right. You know it's real. Some, it's like an atmosphere that's always around you. But this is the beautiful thing of what Jesus does. Don't you know we serve a God that there's not nothing that's broken that he can't fix and restore. He will take the broken things in your life. It's just like, you know what, you can make all the bad moves, but as soon as you say, Lord, I'm tired. Lord, I, I didn't always get it right. He will come to you, sister, grab this and just put it over her. And he will take your burdens. And he will take your sins. And he will take your mistakes. It doesn't matter where you've been. It doesn't matter where, what you've done. And he will clothe you with his righteousness. He will take that weight off you and you can worship. And then he says, I know what the enemy said about you. I know how the enemy spoke to you in the night. And the text, see some of us, we're not struggling with the same temptations we used to. Because at some point in your life, the power of God should be evident in your life. The Bible says in Timothy, they have a form of godliness, but deny the power thereof. So I come and I worship, and I come and I praise, but I struggle with the same things, and that's okay. But sometimes you get to that point where you know no matter what, I'm never going back to the old me. So what the enemy does is he tries to come with that spiritual warfare. I can't get you to sleep around anymore. I can't get you to drink anymore. I can't get you to go to the club anymore. So now I just got to hit you with this heaviness so your eyes are not looking up, but you're looking down at your problem. I hit you with a wound, right, and make you start bleeding out. And you focus on this blood instead of focusing on his blood. So what the Lord wants to do with many of us tonight with his word, he wants to replace that brokenness and that hurt. And he wants to crown you. He has a crown for every single one of you. He has a calling for every single one of you. You know why he's attack the enemy is attacking you so hard? Because he doesn't want you to have this. The bigger the battle, the bigger the blessing. The Lord sent me to tell you, sister, specifically, I saw you clear as day. Everything that you've been through, he knows. And from this day forth, this night forth, he's going to break some things off for you. If you know that he whom the Son has set free is free indeed, give God some praise. Do I got a witness? Lift your hand. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. This is no show. This is what God showed you. The Lord took me to ask her how was her relationships because sometimes he just shows me things about people. And God showed me some things about her relationships. She says her relationships were bad and she almost killed herself yesterday because it was so bad. I told you, can't nobody tell me that God ain't real. Notice, I asked for one woman to come up. Three came up and God said she's the one. She's the one. We serve a real God. We serve a God that sees you who you are. You are not forgotten. In the name of Jesus, set your hand to her before we get to the word. In the name of Jesus, we rebuke every demonic attack and assignment that would come against this sister. Lord, you love her, Lord. Right now, you are using me as a vessel to be a mouthpiece to declare your love over her life. To speak life into the dark places, Lord God. Right now, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, give her joy and give her peace and give her power and give her fire, Lord God. Let her go home tonight and rest. 
and not worry and be free. Let her go home tonight and take control of the atmosphere in her home. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Praise him like he's already done. It's substance. What these men of God are about to release into you is going to be more than anything you could ever give because it's what God has given them. I told Mark Martin when you were standing over there, there was a lot of people, there were many people that just wanted their picture and wanted to shake your hand. But there were some people in that line that knew I don't need a picture, but I can just get you that impartation. Just give it to you, ask you for it. And if I honor the gift, then the gift will automatically be good. I'm going to preach out here. See, we got a lot of dishonor. We'll honor people Preach it. like Drake. Preach it. What's yeah. Drake Come done on, for you? Preach it. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Come on, Come on, Come on, Come on, man. Come on. But you got people that have stepped out in faith to make an event like this possible. Many tonight got what was on the inside of you just by shaking your hand. Because what you got, you've been crying out for God to spread it all over America. God, when are they going to listen? When are they going to understand? God said, I'm about to multiply the anointing of your life. And Hell. And he's still standing in